Sometimes the data that Make retrieves from your automated apps doesn't have all the information you need. When you need to add some numbers, text, dates, and other info to your Make scenario, you can use variables to fill in the gaps. Today, I'm going to show you how to create and use scenario variables in Make, formerly Integromat. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use no-code providers like Make and Zapier to save time for our clients. If you'd like to learn more about workflow automation and our services, check out our website at xray.tech. Now, let's jump into this tutorial. First, let's go over the process of creating a scenario variable in Make. Scenario variables are custom, user-created variables that only exist within the scenario you create them in. You can set their names and values to whatever you'd like. To create a custom variable, add a tools module to your scenario. Then choose set a variable. You can enter anything you'd like for your variable name. You can even have spaces if you want, but I'd recommend making them all one word and just use camel case like this for clarity. You'll have to enter your variable name to retrieve it later. So it's best to make sure you can easily and accurately type it out each time. Then provide a value for your variable. Now, this is probably the most important tip I'm going to give you in this video, so get ready. If you type text directly into this field, it will be a string. So if you type 52, your variable's value will be a piece of text that says 52, not the number 52. Later, if you try to add one to the variable, the value will become a string that says 521, not 53. If you want to make your variable a number, then use the parse number function and enter your number as the first argument. If your number has a decimal, then enter the decimal separator. And you do the same with a date. Use the parse date function, enter your date, and so on. Now, whenever this module runs, it will set the value of your variable to whatever you specified. Then you can use the variable in subsequent steps just like any other data processed in make. For instance, I'll just use Slack like a makeshift dev console for now and send the variable there. Scenario variables are a great way to create data that isn't present in the automations you're building. They're especially useful if you don't want to store that information in an external data source like Airtable or SmartSuite. To automatically change the value of your variable while your scenario is running, just add another set variable step. Specify the variable name using the exact name of the variable you want to update. Remember, it is case sensitive. Then enter the new value you want to assign. You can enter an arbitrary value directly, or you can calculate the new value based on the earlier value. For instance, I'll just add one to the previous value of the variable. Now, whenever this module runs, it will add one to the value of the variable. I'll add another Slack step and run the scenario to see the full output. The first message shows the original value of the variable, 52, and the second message shows its updated value of 53. Let's wrap up this tutorial on scenario variables with a quick look at how you can retrieve the current value of any variable regardless of what path it's on. In many cases, you can often just grab the variable from the last module that set its value, but this won't work if the variable was last set in a different path. So in situations like this, you can use the get variable module to retrieve the current value of the variable, even if it's been updated in a different path than the one you're editing. Just enter the name of the variable to find it. As always, write it exactly the same way as the module that set its value, caps and all. Then you can use the variable retrieved by the get step in any subsequent modules in that path. Just remember to consider the order that your paths will run. They're numbered so you can tell which paths Make will attempt to run first. Also, consider which paths you expect to run for each piece of data your scenario processes. Depending on the timing, you could always add a short delay step to ensure the proper order of things. Scenario variables are a useful little tool that can make it much easier to build the automation you want, even if you're not getting all the data you need directly from your apps. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. How are you going to use scenario variables in your make automations? Do you want to see a video on the similar team and organization variables? And are there any other make features you'd like to see us cover on the channel? Your suggestion could become one of our next videos. If you enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech.
You can find all those links in the resources board down below. And as always, find your focus and stay in flow.